G'day there once again, traders and friends right around the world. It is James here on behalf of Pivot Point Trading, bringing you an updated look at that XOM trade, which I spoke about two or three videos ago. If you haven't watched the initial trade analysis on the XOM trade setup, I'd really encourage you just to have a look at that. I think it was done at this particular date five days prior. This is going back really to about Thursday last week. What I'll do right now though is just give you an update because we saw a really nice candlestick continuation in the direction of our bearish trade, which we spoke about in that particular video. Now this is the chart of XOM. Just to refresh, let me zoom out and show you this. We are in a very defined downtrend. And what struck me so, um, so openly, I mean, just caution signs blinking immediately, was the fact that we had rallied back up into this downward trend line, which as you can see in the past, has acted as very, very strong resistance. What we sort of came to the conclusion with was that, look, this chart at least had very limited upside. We had the candlestick suggesting right here, let me go back and get this immediate date. It was on a Tuesday, maybe I did the video on the Wednesday, but at least we were seeing selling pressure at this downward trend line we had the entry at $88.30 or we had a secondary entry at $86.29. You can see what has occurred on today's type of candle. Sure, we got the breakdown on the Wednesday. We had a little bit of a bear flag almost on the Wednesday and Thursday, or sorry, the Thursday and Friday. Today, we've seen XOM move down $2.21. So here was our entry, $88.30. And we've got our, our particular market price right now at $86.30 and 78 cents. You can see if I change over to the oscillators, surprise, surprise, they're starting to roll over right at this very logical area of resistance, the downward trend line, and they're suggesting, look, the stock is weak and it is about to roll over. We saw the warning signs before it actually made that move. Thus, we were able to capture a little bit of additional price action. So I'm very, very proud at least to bring you the, the continuation of this very real uh, type of trade setup, a forward-looking trade setup, which I gave you three or two or three videos before this. Um, outside of that though, I mean, I'll keep showing you, I guess, the, the management side of this trade. What I can do, and again, I suggested make this virtual if you do, do not know what you were doing, but if you are in the trade, I'd simply put a stop in at about $89.09 at this level right here. It goes above Monday's and Friday's type of candle. Let me change the color right here. It goes above this candlestick right here, which was Monday's. It also goes above uh, Friday's candle last week. And it's a very nice type of risk level. Look at that. We've got $88 was our entry, $88.30. And our stop now is at $89.09. That really leaves us with about 79 cents of risk on this trade. It's absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, you know, based on that, we've got a target down here at $83.49. The difference between that is about $5. So we have about $5 of profit, which we're looking at. We may not get there, but it's a very good profit target. $5 divided by 0.79. I'm no math genius, but that works out at least over a five to one. I'm assuming that maybe it comes in at uh, a six or maybe even a seven to one. Who knows? Maybe it's an eight to one trade setup on XOM. What I do want to say is that it was a very good trade setup. I said, look, do not worry about all of the news, the media reports, all of this um, information on the price of crude oil. It's a very nice bearish trade setup. Now, another stock which we follow in pro is CVX, and that is doing something very, very similar. We had a 10802 bearish entry. It didn't see the biggest sell type of daily candle. I mean, you can see the difference between this candle right here and the candle which I just referenced on XOM. XOM is a much rather uh, long day type of candle but you can see the similarities between these two charts. A very nice type of setup, continuation. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention. It's very important that I keep up to date on these stocks as they progress, as I will all trades, and even reference again, losing trades because they happen to every single professional trader around the world. A lot of people just you know, sweep that under the rug, so to speak, and, and not really reference losing trades as well. But this is a really great trade, along with most of the trades we place in that pro analysis class. So I'll leave it at that. On this Monday afternoon, it is the second video. I'd encourage you to have a look at that first XOM trade update or at least the trade setup. And we'll again, we'll just monitor this and manage this as the trade progresses. All the best friends and traders right around the world. It's James signing off on behalf of Pivot Point Trading. Goodbye.